We will now show you how to define a characteristic derivation for the product group from the Material Master. Firstly, we make sure that the Basic Data 1 view in Material A1 contains an entry for the product hierarchy. As you can see here, product type PA1 and product group PG2 are assigned. We want to derive both of these items of information in the corresponding COPA characteristics via Table Lookup. To do this, in the COPA Customizing menu, we select Master Data, Define Characteristic Derivation. We are now in the Maintenance Transaction for the Characteristic Derivation Strategy. We go to Change Mode and then create a new step. In this case, we want to access data that is available in an SAP standard table. Therefore, we select step type Table Lookup. The general master data of materials is stored in table MARA, and therefore we specify this table. In the characteristic derivation, we maintain a name. The source field defines which table field in table MARA the system is to use for selection for the derivation. In this case, the system proposes the material number field. The selection field for table MARA is thus transferred from the COPA characteristic for the product number. When assigning the table fields to the target fields, we define the fields in table MARA from which data is transferred and the COPA characteristics in which this data is to be updated. We want to derive two characteristics from the product hierarchy of the material. The product type, which we can take from the first three characters of the product hierarchy, and the product group, which we find in characters 4 to 6 of the product hierarchy. To derive the product type, we therefore select the field for the product hierarchy as source, technically MARA PRDHA. Correspondingly, as the target field, that is, the COPA characteristic to which the data is to be transferred, we select the characteristic for the product type. However, we do not want to transfer the entire field contents from the product hierarchy. We only want the first three characters which identify the product type. To do this, in the detail view of the assignment, we define that only part of the field content is to be derived, the first three characters. We proceed in the same way for the product group. As the source, we select the field for the product hierarchy again, and we link it to the COPA characteristic for the product group. This time, in the details, we define that three characters from the third position of the product hierarchy onwards are to be transferred. Now we save the derivation and return to the characteristic derivation strategy. As you can see, the table lookup that we have just created is already entered here. The characteristics for the product type and product group are user-defined characteristics, and therefore we have to maintain values for these characteristics. To do this, in the application menu, we proceed as follows. Accounting, controlling, Profitability Analysis, Master Data, Characteristic Values, Change Characteristic Values. Firstly, we select the Product Type characteristic and then enter values. We then proceed in the same way for the Product Group. To test whether our characteristic derivation works, we now enter a manual document in COPA. To do this, we enter transaction KE21 directly. We enter a posting date and a record type, and then confirm. In the invoice header data, we enter the company code and then click Enter to continue to the next screen. There we enter product A1, which is the basis for our example, and continue to the next screen by clicking Enter again. There we click Derivation. As you can see, the characteristics for the product type and the product group are derived via our table lookup.